Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your two week reading. The, I'm using a big hybrid deck of the Gilded Revelry Lenormand and the Kipper deck. I don't, yeah, there they are. Okay, it's blended together. It's a big hybrid deck I blend together. I like to use it this way. We're gonna pull a few Oracle, then we're gonna go into the Arcanum Tarot. We're also gonna go into the Idols Tarot. We're also gonna go all the way over here to the After Tarot to see what the next step is, because this is a two week reading. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know, Capricorn reading? What's most important? the child. And it's so funny. I started your reading yesterday, but I couldn't finish it. I mean, I just, just started it with a couple of these cards and I got called away from my desk and I had to go take care of something else. And it was late in the day. And I said, that's it. I'll do it tomorrow. And the child came out, but it wasn't that child. There's two child. Remember this is two decks and child is just happens to be one of the cards that is doubled in this deck because we've put two cards together. I wish that I saw it here, but there's another card, another child card from the opposite deck. And it came out first card out for you yesterday. I have chills right now. So meant to be really meant to be spirit and angels. What do we need to know? Capricorn reading occupation house and bridge. Okay. Again, I feel some of you are going to move and some of you are going to have a new job because the child is not really about a child. I mean, it can be, it absolutely can be, but it could be about a new occupation. It could also be a new home. When it comes out with the bridge, that's a move for me. This is something about um, relocating. It could be just relocating jobs for some of you. For some of you, you're definitely moving. Um, which, you know, wouldn't surprise me at all with the energy going on lately. All right, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. This is blowing my mind. You got the privileged lady and look, the child's back. That's the child that came out first here yesterday. I am blown away. So this could be for two people. This could be for a mother and child. This could be, um, some of you might well when i see the privileged lady i feel like she's come into some kind of money i have to say that or that she's scored a better job or she sold her house and you know this is going to be allow them to move or have travel or something i don't i'd love to hear from you guys and see if any of this is going on in your world all right let's find out so much going on now again child can be the actual child or it just could be something brand new or in this case it could be both because that child boy it was meant to come out for your reading do you know how many cards are in this this is a double deck it's a lot of cards child 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 everywhere is unbelievable i'm gonna put this up here so that we can see it and i'm gonna leave the privileged lady and child like that so we can remember that this is something brand spanking new coming in for whatever reason. It could be for a mother and child. It could be for, um, it, it, it might have nothing to do with a child. Remember, the child also means something new coming in. All right, let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading? What are the messages? This is for Capricorn, two week reading, Capricorn. This goes all the way to the very end of the month, to May. The very last day of May, the 31st. All right, what do we need to know? What are the messages? Anything could come out in this reading, Capricorn. I mean anything right till the very last second, even after I click off, I can click back on. This reading's for Capricorn and anyone else who's guided to see the Capricorn reading. It could be your reading. It could be anybody's reading and it might not be. All right. Also, um, it could resonate right now or later on down the line. And I always say this, if you don't know what a reading is, pay even closer attention. It could be a heads up to something coming down the line. All right, let's do it. We have a lot going on here with this new, something brand new coming in. We have the privileged lady. Oh yeah, look at that. Two of Cups. Oh gosh, we have the Page of Cups. Some of you are doing something with your child, no doubt about it. Or there's something, you and your child are going to do something. For some of you, it's a new something coming in for you. What do we need to know? What are the messages? 
it could be a new offer it could be like i said wow ten of swords reversed hanged man You know, if you have to have the Ten of Swords, the reversed is the way to have it. All right. We also have the Queen of Wands and we also have the Nine of Pentacles, which I love. And we also have the Page of Pentacles here. So there's something. Okay. We have the Star. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like someone here is... um. I feel like there's something new coming in and you might not see it coming in or um, you might be planning something new um, and haven't really said anything yet. There's something here about it. I'm going to look at it real quick uh, because the Seven of Swords comes between two really nice cards, the Star and the Page of Pentacles. So we're going to look at it. We're actually going to look at the bottom of the deck. I'm so sorry. I wanted to show you guys all these cards. You have the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups. And you have the Ten of Swords, which is thankfully in the reverse. We also have the Hanged Man. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. And look how the Hanged Man's looking right at the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you've waited to achieve something. It could be like a bonus at work. It could be your pay. It could be um, a level of respect. Uh, we've got the Queen of Wands here. Talk about a level of respect. She looks amazing. All right, but let's get into it and see what this is. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? Somebody could be apologizing to you. And, uh, you know, it might not be anybody that you're letting back in your life or anything. But somebody could be apologizing to you for that ten swords they stuck in your back. It's possible. Or something new could be coming in after, you know, you've healed from this ten swords. Spirit and angels, what do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? All right, let's take a look at the Page of Cups. Smack dab in the middle. What do we need to know about the Page of Cups? Central issue. High Priestess, reverse. This is Pisces energy, both of them. Uh, also, we got the Queen of Cups at the bottom. You got a lot of Pisces coming through. Um, tell me more about this Two of Cups. Yeah, Three of Cups as a challenge. For some of you, some secrets could have come out about something. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. I feel like it already did, if that, because the central issue is the High Priestess Reverse and the Ten of Swords already happened. Tell me, as somebody's already already healing from the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reversed. Like, that's over with, whatever it is. Ten of Swords reversed, please. What do we need to know? What's important? Yeah, we're releasing that. Done. We have Nine of Swords and Four of Pentacles, both reversed, which is the way we want them. All right. All these cards that came out that are negative, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of pentacles you got them all in the reverse excellent for those of you that bitch about reversals that be thankful they're all reversed because in the upright they all suck all right so we have this release of something letting go of stress letting go of something that happened letting go of the past letting go of a, a possible third party or something that happened between you and a group this could be family related. It could be occupation or work related for sure. I feel like um, you could be letting go of all this because I'm telling you something, some kind of news or information's coming out or in or an apology. All right. I want to look at the hanged man. Or it's just that something brand new is taking you out of this old energy. That's really possible. And as soon as I said that, the king of swords pops out of the deck truth right speaking of truth here let's talk about the hanged man what about the hanged man please the hermit wow talk about reflecting on something so we've got the hermit and the hanged man both who have taken a time out put themselves in an uncomfortable position to really look deeply at the whole matter and take in whatever they can take in 
And look at that bottom of your deck, the hangman reversed. You are coming to terms with something. There's something here about seeing things from another perspective, letting go of a lot of stress or strain. It could be about something that secrets came out in or something that you're... Let me take a look at this Nine of Pentacles. What about the Nine of Pentacles here? Somebody's feeling... This Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Wands feels like I have arrived. You know, look at her. Amazing. I'm going to look at them together. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. What do we need to know? Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. This is a beautiful energy. Two of Cups. There could be two of you. It could be you and a child. It could be you and someone else. There's something here about let me look at it one more time. Can I get one more card on the energy around this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands? Page of Wands. I'm telling you, for someone, for some of you, this is something you're going to do with one of your kids. You're going to move, you're going to go on a journey, you're going to take a trip, you're going to sell a house, family home. I don't know what this is, but it's two of you. Now, it could be siblings. You could be siblings. Um, so, in other words, you could be the siblings of the privileged lady. And this privileged lady could have passed away. It's possible. And the kids are all, you know, dealing with the estate. It's very possible. But when I see the bridge and I see the house, it really feels like some kind of a move to me. And remember, the occupation came out. We're going to go up top. I don't normally clarify the top, but sometimes I do. And in this case, I want to. I want to look at the occupation card, please. Capricorn reading, occupation card. Knight of Cups reversed. All right, so this could be, give me one more on the occupation, please. Occupation. Because you got the Page of Cups coming in in the upright here. Tell me, this is somebody who, is this somebody who lied and uh, secrets? So, or is somebody, something about secrets around a job or someone who was not genuine. Tell me about this Knight of Cups reversed and occupation. What do we need to know about it? Because also that page of pen, uh, cups ends up being your central issue with the high priestess reversed. Tell me about the knight of cups reversed in occupation, please. Yeah, seven of pentacles came out on its side as a challenge. So it's almost like, look, ten of swords reversed again. It's reversed again. Thankfully, it's reversed. Ten of wands is reversed and ten of pentacles is back here. Kid you not. Look at all this. 10, 10, 10. We had this happen in a reading and there's justice reverse here. Something happened. We had this happen at the bottom of the reading. I'm going to say like two weeks ago, maybe sometime in the past month where there were all these tens at the bottom of the after tarot at the very end of a reading. I wish I could tell you what reading it was. I'm going to say it was a two week reading because they're the ones I use the after tarot in these readings. Uh, it could have been Capricorn. I don't know. I wish I knew. But you might want to check out your um, reading for two weeks ago. But look at this. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands reversed, and Ten of Swords reversed. The thing I love about this is the two we want in reverse are in reverse. The thing we want in the upright is in the upright. Excellent. There's something happening. I feel like you went through some kind of injustice in at work or or in some kind of now if this isn't at your job it could be a business you were dealing with but there was some kind of injustice where seeds were planted and then you didn't get them it was a lie somebody there was like some kind of a lie um and this is the thing that there's some like new energy coming into this let's take a look at it the child let's look at the child Now, the child could be definitely more than one child because there are so many children cards. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Page of um, Pentacles. We have um, 
Didn't we have the Page of Cups twice? I thought. We have the Page of Wands, and we have the Child here twice, and I thought we had another page, but I don't see it right now. All right, let's keep going. I want to look at the Child, please. The Child. And there's three people in this card, too, so it is possible that we're dealing with three children. All right, let's look at the Child card, please. We got it here twice. Is there anything we need to know about these children cards that keep coming out? Five of Pentacles reversed. All right, so if there has been a money issue, privileged lady, the children, um, I feel like there is something being made right. You had all those tens at the bottom with the ten of pentacles in the upright, and now the five of pentacles is in reverse. So there's something being made right. Let's look at the privileged lady at the bottom of the deck here. I want to look at the privileged lady. Capricorn reading. We're digging today, Capricorn. Tell me about this privileged lady. Okay, so somebody who's been waiting for the ship to come in, but it never showed up, right? Why? Because it's been withheld. Something happened. The devil's here. There could have been something or someone who was blocking this privileged lady from her destiny, from her right, from her money. It looks like her and possibly her child, or it's her new beginning that was blocked. Uh, tell me about the devil. Why is, so if this has nothing to do with children, then it has something to do with someone's new beginning being blocked. Why is the privileged lady here with the devil and the block of the three of wands reversed? Why? Oh my gosh. I kid you not. The tower reversed in the nine of pentacles. Whatever happened is you're getting what you are getting what is rightfully yours you are your destiny was blocked it, it was blocked by a tower that happened something happened and your destiny got blocked i don't know what caused it but something and it was in the past six of cups here at the bottom something blocked your destiny something blocked your money something blocked your stability something this block is being lifted and I, for some of you, it's for you and a child. For some of you, it's just leading you into new opportunities. Tell me about the, the bridge in the house. I want to see the bridge in the house, please. Capricorn reading. Yeah. It's your new beginning. It's your new destiny, your new beginning. It's amazing. You're, it's a victory, six of wands, and it's a brand new beginning, Ace of Cups. Whatever this is, you were blocked from this in some way. I wish I could get more on that devil, but I got that tower that came out with it. You are full speed ahead. I got chills right now. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Look, <laughs> I have to show you this. This is so, so amazing. The bottom of your deck. This is what you have. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the world. Yes, it's reversed. It just hasn't happened yet. You have the this is what was at the very bottom, the chariot and the nine of cups. What in the world? This is at the bottom of your deck when these two came out. What in the world? Ace of cups, ace of swords, six of wands, chariot, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. The world is about to come in for you. This is an amazing energy. I have chills right now. All those tens were for real that came out earlier. This is ending and you're stepping in. You are in this vibration. Oh my God. You are going to love the vibration that you're in. I don't know if you're in it already. If you're not in this vibration, get yourself ready because something is coming through for you, especially if you're in this amazing vibration. This is somebody who's like, be damned what they did. I don't care because I am going to do what I need to do. And there could be two of you um, because I do see this, you know, this page keeps coming through and this two of cups came through with it. So in other words, and this is not the first reading I've had this month where I felt like um, two people were doing something together or there was something brand new coming in for someone. And if you don't know this two of cups person yet, you will know them when you go on this amazing journey you're about to go on. Uh, good luck, you guys. Please do comment down below. I think yours was my longest of readings. We're just going to pull you a few after tarot to see where it goes next. 
spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for capricorn what do we need to know what are the messages oh my gosh the world again it's coming it's coming there's something about a choice tell me about the seven of cups yeah oh my gosh if you have a choice to go somewhere do something move go on a journey change jobs i don't care what it is well, you'll know what it is if you have a choice you're gonna love the choice and it's gonna change the entire cycle for you you're gonna leave behind all those ten of swords and those towers that already happened they happened they're done they're all reversed ten of wands ten of swords tower they're all in reverse whatever happened in the past when you head out on this victory journey, this whatever, you, you are going to love this. I don't know exactly what this is, but again, you got the Ten of Pentacles. I'm Ten of Wands at the bottom. And the reason I said Pentacles is because right behind it is the Ace of Pentacles. You are absolutely going to love whatever this journey is. It is absolutely for you. You also have the sun back here. You also have the moon, the three of cups. I feel like you're really going to love. And the moon and the three of cups says you might not even know how much you're going to love what's happening next. I don't know what this is for sure, but it looks like you're moving or you're changing jobs for some of you. But regardless of what it is, it's going to allow you to leave behind. Look at the Ten of Wands. This person dumps the burdens and grabs their new beginning in their hand, their Ace of Wands. And look at all the growth happening on this. This is someone who has grown through the burdens. I carried the Ten Wands. I was stabbed in the back ten times. You've had them both twice. I experienced this tower. You know, you've had these cards come through, but you're none of it's going to matter soon not a damn bit of it is going to matter soon you're going to look back on that time and be like it doesn't matter because i've achieved all my hopes wishes and dreams anyway in spite of it aces 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 everywhere this is amazing and you're doing it all in some kind of energy that you have it's like you went through something and then instead of letting it the tower crumble you you built it back up better than ever let me know guys beautiful reading this may well be my favorite reading of all the readings this week i'm so glad we waited till the next day to do it because the energy is just like wow comment down below please don't forget to like this reading capricorn i want to keep doing capricorn readings as much as possible and I'm just going to follow your lead. If you guys are liking the videos, you'll get more vid you'll get more readings on my channel. And that's just what I have to do because I'm really a busy person. And I just pick and choose between what people are really liking. So slap that like, drop a comment. I'd love to hear from Capricorn always. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.